All right, it's going to feature as part of my video, but watch this if he's not switched on from the cross. Fur collar, straight from kickoff. Watch the run, if it works. There you go. Simple as that sometimes, man, when people are not expecting it. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to one of my most requested videos. I've done a lot on meta, but people keep asking me in live stream, how do I get more wins? What players to use? Why can my players make the runs that I see my opponents making? So we're going to cover that in a very nice video here, very thorough as well, for the ultimate meta setup and how to score more goals easier. That's basically what it's about. We're going to be looking at formations and tactics for setting up with the meta. We're going to be looking at the top five in the world and how they play and show you the differences, but also that the same pattern exists between all of the teams that they pick and their style of play. And of course, we're going to be showing you and highlighting some key players as well as some clips. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. All right, boys. So we're not going to overcomplicate it, man. We're going to hit you straight between the eyes with what works and what doesn't work in this game. You can play any way that you want in this game, but as you go up the ranks, you're probably going to be having to score a lot of goals like this that take a couple of passes and a couple of seconds to get in the box. And you're also going to be conceding a lot of goals like this against high ranked opponents, especially because they streamline their play and they're just able to get players in the box. Now, to do this, and as I said, you can play possession, you can play out wide. Check out my channel, we've got hundreds of videos playing non-meta, anti-meta, whatever you wanna call it. But for everybody on my live stream and all the new followers that are asking me, how do I get more wins? How do I be more compact? How do I stop conceding stupid goals? You are kind of like geared towards playing one of two of these ways, right? Quick counter or long ball counter. So the likes of Ten Hag with the booster here. Uh, you also have Cristo Valbuena. He plays long ball counter. Now what long ball counter does is it kind of limits you in leaving gaps because of how deep you are, right? Don't worry too much about attacking or anything like that. The game is geared towards you scoring goals. So you're always going to have a good chance creation just with the AI alone. But defensively, long ball counter, if you are conceding a lot of goals, this is the deepest sitting by default tactical setup that you can have in the game. And also, when you gain possession, it says here that your players will rush forward into open spaces. The reason why long ball counter works so well is because the players run in a very easy to read uh, way. And we're going to show you a couple of clips in a minute while we branch out and show you the two types of formations and tactical setups with quick counter here next. So quick counter obviously is going to be Klopp. Klopp is probably the best quick counter manager. Obviously, there's a couple of other guys as well. But just to use Klopp here at the moment... We're going to have the same tactical setup, we're going to have the same formation, but our actual team play style tactical setup, the stuff that we can't control, is going to be set up here. So when we're attacking and when we're defending, we're going to be extremely high up the pitch. So think of how Liverpool play in real life, you know, our city, that they play really high up the pitch defensively. But the biggest thing is that that is going to open you up to a lot of chance creation and also going to make you score more goals. Now on the left, we have long ball counter. This formation that suits is a 4-2-1-3, we'll have a look at that. A 4-3-3 with 3 CFs or 2 SSs and 1 CF. 4-2-3-1 as well with attacking midfielders or SSs sitting a little deeper. Fast passing, direct play, triangles, everything like that. You're basically trying to get the ball up your lines as quickly as you possibly, uh, as you possibly can. Quick counter is going to suit aggressive high scoring players. So if you want to win games 3-1, 4-1 instead of like 1-0, 2-1, this is going to suit as well. Same formation, same tactics, but we have a 4 triple 2 but it is defensively open, so you do need to outscore your opponent rather than nullify him. So I'm going to show you another clip here. When we get the ball back here with Makalele, it's going to be a nice, stunning pass, very, very easy. Let the ball run through my legs, and then the pass on to Rafael Liao. Now also with there, if I don't pop that, even though it only takes 9.5 seconds to go from end to end, from one side of the pitch to the other, we also have Salah there that is kind of like loitering around in case the goalkeeper gets a rebound. So a lot of the time when you're playing meta, you need to score tap-ins, cutbacks, and you need to have players in the box to be able to get rebounds. And that's just where the game is at, man. That is just where the game is at. You will see here when I get caught on the counter, this is how you will concede most goals, right? If you're playing against a high-ranked opponent, I'm talking as you go up the ranks, and if you are in the top 1,000 or the top 500, you're looking for an 80-90 win percent ratio, okay? And you want to improve the game competitively. It's all about triangles. It's all about spending as little time as possible on the ball, no real dribbles, and literally walk the ball into the net. Yes, you can mix it and match it, but if you look at the top five players in the game at the moment, currently at the time of recording, 
you are going to see a, a recurrent team between all of these. Now, we will deep dive into this again in a couple of minutes, but we have got our three center backs set up with our right back or our left back that can play CB as well. We also have either a double pivot or a single pivot in the case of Vieira here for these squads, and you have your three center forwards up front. So what this does is this streamlines the runs that your players are going to be making, and it also gives you a very, very, very easy to predict uh, standard kind of like um, space in between your players. You know the position in the players. And those five squads all have the 3CB, 3 center forward with a couple of variations. So when we go in to look at our squad here, when we're looking to replicate that, we have got three center backs and a right back in Wambasaka, who is essentially a center back because his defensive prowess is so high and his defensive skills. We have two options, either to play a single pivot or a double pivot, a single sitting DMF or a double pivot where we have one box of box or destroyer. Don't worry too much. I will bring a, a video on individual instructions. I'll bring a video on the best pairings and all that. I have a lot of that information up. This video is basically how to set yourself up to be able to play meta. The players that you use, we all have favorite players, but essentially once you have any of these players here and any of these systems set up, it's all going to be about how you actually employ the players on the pitch. There's no point having a player with 90 finishing if you don't shoot a lot. There's no point having a center back with 99 heading if you don't, you know, ever need to defend. But essentially this is what it is, right? And primarily this is what you will want and this is what you will run into against every meta player that you play. It's going to be three center backs with a left back or a right back that we've highlighted here that can actually slide in as a CB as well. So what you are doing or what you're coming up against here when you're playing against guys like this is you are playing against guys that know exactly where their positionings are going to be. This, this is just where the game is at at the moment. Like it or love it, hate it or whatever. Hate it or love it, I should say. But this is what you will want and this is what you will have to be able to complete, compete with if you are looking to push rank. Now, if you're playing Division 2, 3 or 4 and you're trying to just get up there, you will run into a bit of variation and variety from people that are probably not playing the game, you know, probably playing the game a little bit more casually. But the main thing with this is once you have your pillar set up at the back with your 3 CB and then another right back or left back that can play CB, you are going to be dependent on these two kind of attack uh, systems here. The first one is a DMF. Now, what the role of the DMF plays when you're playing meta is probably the most important position. It's the, you know, the player that is the last line of defense before it gets back into your center back pairing. And it's going to be all about blocking the passing lanes, interceptions, true balls, and stop and stop encounters at source. So when you are playing triangles, as we saw there, and as we'll see in a second here with the last clip, you are going to want to stop the ball getting through your center backs, to your center backs. The less you see of your center backs, it's like the, an ex-girlfriend, lads. The less you see of your center backs in a game, the more you're dominating that game, because it means that you're on the attack all the time. Also with the attack and trio, I already mentioned that. Tap-ins, shoot, shoot on sight, and AI runs with manual touching goals and triangles. We covered that earlier in the video. But this is what it's all about, man. Watch the chance creation that I have here. We are just dependent on getting as many players in the box and then just being able to pick our, pick our shot. Again, we walk it in here as well with Musiala out wide a little bit. Little tap, little turn, little roll, and Leao is in the box. If we get a rebound there, Salah's in there. We've got other players in there. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There is a lot to go into it, but that is pretty much the ultimate meta where it is, where it is at the moment. And as you look at the players um, that are in the top rank on the screen again, you will see here that there's going to be a pattern. The pattern is the three center back set up, one DMF that can just block the ball. If you've got a double pivot, it's usually to either run the ball back or to help out in defense. If you're a very attack-based player, some people like to use a kind of a catch-all CMF or a DMF, such as Makalele, such as Ambrosini, such as Declan Rice, or somebody like that that can also add to the game defensively. And then all it's about is getting the ball up to your center forwards, because they're your killers, they're your assassins. So I hope this video helped you. I know I'll get a lot of questions on it. If there's anything I missed out, I will go over it in the live stream, and I will show you. I am working on another video that I didn't want to overcomplicate by adding it to this, because it involves the AI movement, and it does kind of like contradict a little bit but it's for people that are looking to push rank really high up the pitch that you will give yourself an extra uh, kind of advantage with it but I will cover that video very very soon I just wanted to keep this very listen 
It's as simple as possible, but it works. You can overcomplicate as much as you want in this game, but at its core, it's very, very, very simple to, you know, most of what you're doing is doing the simple thing right. That's what it's mostly about, consistently and doing it right, the primary stuff that you want to do. So I hope this video helped you out. As I said, if I missed anything, it's probably because I don't want to overcomplicate this video, and I want this to be kind of like an introduction to meta as we go into season five and as we go on, because there is going to be a few things changing and I will include it in part two of this video. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. We stream Monday, Thursday and Friday. And of course we do daily content. You will find everything here and I hope to see you around again.